Hello everyone, this is Jaime from Pocket Now, and after two months since the official release of HTC Sense 3.6 with Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich, T-Mobile finally shares that love with Sensation 4G customers. There are a lot of really good changes in this update, so let's talk about them. Even if this is HTC's flagship device from last year and also the predecessor to the HTC One S, the Sensation 4G is still a worthy contender to a lot of current Android devices. Sadly, people weren't fond of Sense 3.0 because of the excessive animations and the bottom dock selector which you couldn't customize in any way. Sense 3.6 changes all this and the upgrade is really something you shouldn't ignore. At the moment, you most likely won't get an automatic notification of the upgrade, so simply go into Settings, navigate to About Phone, then HTC Software Updates and hit Check Now. The update will take a couple of minutes, so make sure you have enough coffee, and yeah, I drank about three of these. Once the upgrade is finished, Sense 3.6 may definitely not be Sense 4.0, but that may be a good thing for many of you. It retains a lot of the great Android 4.0 elements that many wish Sense 4.0 had kept, so the UI is fluid and much more efficient than Sense 4.0 even if it's running on the HTC One X with all its horsepower. Gone now was the dock with the permanent personalized button that you rarely used in the past, and now you have a similar dock to what Stock Ice Cream Sandwich provides, where you can customize the buttons however you want. The application's launcher still feels like HTC in a lot of ways, which is sort of gingerbread-like with the vertical scrolling, but the tabs for favorites and downloads are always very welcome features that you don't find on Stock ICS. Like in Sense 3.0, 3.6 also includes the same ring to unlock feature, and the applications that are unlocked features now mimic the same dock applications that you've selected in the home screen. A rather unfortunate problem is that even though Stock ICS allows you to disable applications that you don't want or cannot install, T-Mobile blocked this feature even though HTC Sense 3.6 on devices like the Vivid on AT&T do allow it. It may not bother many of you, but T-Mobile includes so much bloatware on this device, it would have been a really nice feature to keep. Speaking of the Vivid, the Sense 3.6 upgrade included Beats Audio software for that device, which was sadly omitted on the upgrade for the Sensation 4G. I'll tell you something though, the SRS enhancement in the music player is hands down great, even on the low-end headphones included, so I don't think you'll be missing out on much. Another disappointment is in widgets. I'm a big fan of tons of HTC Sense widgets, but sadly you can't resize them on Sense 3.6, and stock ICS widgets like Mail weren't included as an option for those other widgets from HTC Sense that you can't resize. Speaking of Mail, you don't get the stock ICS version of the service nor the Sense 4.0 version that we really liked. This Mail application is good and has a lot of really neat filters, but sadly it's kind of dated in my opinion. An interesting note though is that even though Sense 4.0 doesn't include the recently launched applications in the drop menu, Sense 3.6 does as a way to multitask. Still, just press and hold the home button and you'll get the stock ICS app switcher which is preferred by many people. Sense 3.6 also retains the old keyboard from previous versions of HTC Sense, which is also a really great advantage because it doesn't include the navigation keys at the bottom which take up a lot of real estate. And yes, you still get swipe functionality here. The camera UI hasn't changed though, which is rather unfortunate since the camera could pretty much resemble the hardware included on the HTC One series, and there's really no reason to not fit the software with the same functionality. Overall, Sense 3.6 and Android 4.0 on the T-Mobile HTC Sensation 4G is a dramatic improvement in performance and functionality when compared to the previous version. Surely this is no HTC One S in certain design elements like thinness, for example, but it does make the experience worthy enough of keeping a one-year-old device like the Sensation 4G for another year while the next HTC One successor comes out to the market. That's it for our video walkthrough of HTC Sense 3.6 running on the T-Mobile Sensation 4G. If you liked the update or didn't like it at all, please leave us a comment down below and leave us a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. This is Jaime Rivera from Pocket Now. Thank you very much for watching.